Hello folks, thought I would explain how a um, hot air coil or forced air hot water coil works, um, what it looks like and how to mount it into the ductwork. Uh, first I'll describe the coil. Um, basically a hot water coil is just two manifolds, a supply and return, it doesn't matter which is which. I'll explain that a little bit on the direction of flow um, in a minute. but. Say this is your one you would feed the hot water into. That comes in. It's just a whole row of copper tubes um, that are brazed together there. It goes down through the coil there. Those are individual tubes with aluminum fins, about roughly 12 per inch, I think, all the way through. And then on the other end of the coil, do this one-handed. They're looped around and they go back. This is a three-row coil, which is pretty common. We've used hundreds or maybe thousands of them um, with a galvanized frame. That's that. Some, uh, let me back up, and then you would come out the return manifold back to the furnace, out to your outdoor furnace. You can see the tubes there coming in on the inside. Well, there's a whole row of them. Um, so these, the water's actually making three passes. It goes down and back and down and back or maybe it's four passes actually, um, but it's a three rows of tubes. Um, if you can imagine in your mind the water coming in and going back and forth, um, the, the coil is the easiest to purge the air out the first time if it's this way with your tubes running horizontally or flat this way running horizontally. Uh, if you turn it with the, if put it into a ductwork with the outlets up, some of those tubes, the air, the water, the flow is going down, and it's going to be harder. It's not impossible, but it's a lot harder to get the air out. The absolute worst way to mount a coil is with the outlets down. I'm sorry, it's hard for me to hold this here. Now your tubes, um, both your manifolds and everything, all the air has got to go downhill to get out of the coil. So in general, in duct work, I try to run tubes horizontal. Um, next best option would be with the manifold up i do have done that a few times but your flow rates pumping through it need to be high to keep the bubbles out of it um, the outlets here are one inch copper typically at least the ones we use uh, so you can solder on there you can use sharp bites they're not as reliable they can start dripping over the years i would prefer to solder on a pex adapter um, as far as mounting in the ductwork, uh, this is just an old piece of sheet metal we had here around the shop. It's not pretty. Um, it's been laying here for a while with dirt and everything else in it. But anyway, you can see the, get out of the light. There you can see the rail. We ever bent this up. I didn't do it. Um, screwed a rail there. Uh, this is three and a half inches tall. Uh, this is a 16 by 18 coil, so they've bent this box like a 16 and an eighth or 16 and a quarter by uh, a little bit longer. I think this is 19 or 20 inches long um, to match that coil. So it just slides in on those rails. Um, I'll do that here. If your duct is too narrow, um, I'm not sure if I can do this one-handed. Uh, if, if the coil is wider than the duct, then you would have to... Uh, build some kind of a transition uh, Like say if your duct is on a lot of heat pumps or narrower like 10 or 11 12 inches uh, You may if your coil is wider than that you would have to build a transition out and back in it's going to take a little bit of sheet metal work But it's not difficult. I just try not to make the coil too small that it chokes airflow uh, Rule of thumb. I would try to keep a minimum of 75 or 80 square inches of Finned area per ton of cooling like if it's a heat pump um, but yeah, that's how it mounts in. I would just maybe screw a rail or two on and stick a screw or two in the side to like into here. Just make sure you don't hit the tube. Stay up here on the edge. Stitch it across the front. Some brands of coils, actually a lot of them, this, this lip here is bent forward down onto here. And so I would bend my sheet metal out and stitch it across the top with a few screws and tape it. Um, doesn't have to be anything fancy. But yeah, that's a hot air coil. Uh, the larger the coil you have, the hotter air you'll get in your ductwork. Also, if the fan is blowing up, I would try to space the coil off of the fan as few inches anyway, as far as possible, so it spreads the air through the whole coil. Uh, you'll get hotter air. Also, about which outlet is supply and return. If you pump 
if your airflow is moving, say, this way, I would pump into this outlet and out that outlet. And that's because you want your air to exit at the hottest tubes. Um, if you're pumping in here and your air is going up, it's going to exit on the cooler return tubes. Um, so you can get maximum air temperature by counterflowing, moving your water the opposite direction of your air through the coil. It's not a big deal, um, but it every little bit helps. Thanks for watching.